Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Monday interacted with the first batch of Agnivids. Nearly 40,000 Agnivids were given training in the first batch. The new batch of Agnivids will be deployed in 10 different regiments of the armed forces. Under the Agnivid scheme, youths from the age of 17 years to 21 years are recruited for a time period of 4 years with a provision to retain 25% of them for 15 years. As predicted by the IMD, cold wave is once again back in New Delhi and adjoining areas as people in the national capital of India woke up to a chilly morning on Monday. The minimum temperature recorded in the capital was 1.4 degrees Celsius, which is the lowest of the season so far. Cold wave conditions and foggy winter prevailed over Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh and parts of Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan as well. The IMD has issued an alert for intense cold wave condition and fog in parts of North India for the next three days. Dense fog condition in Delhi and other parts of North India brought visibility down, delaying several trains. BJP will hold a grand roadshow which would be led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday in the national capital. The two-day national executive meeting of the BJP will be held at the NDMC Convention Centre starting from today. BJP's National President J.P. Nadda along with Union Ministers including Home Minister Amit Shah, Chief Ministers of BJP rule states and other senior party leaders will participate in the event. PM Modi will hold a roadshow from Patel Chowk to Parliament Street. The roadshow was previously planned for Thursday before a change in the party's schedule. In the past 24 hours, India reported 114 fresh COVID-19 cases with active cases declining to 2,119 as compared to 2,149 recorded a day earlier, the official website of the Union Health Ministry said on Monday. The country's total COVID-19 tally was reported to be 4.46 crore according to the news agency PTI. No COVID-related deaths were reported in the country in the last 24 hours. With this, the death toll stayed at 5,30,726. The national COVID-19 recovery rate continued to stay at 98.80%. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.